What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Madden 22 video. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down my Madden Bowl matchup versus the three C John Beast. I'm going to be talking about what went right, what went wrong, and just in general, break down the game. This is going to be like my first time watching it back. So, you know, um, definitely going to be good for my own sake. Uh, of course, for you guys as well, you guys could take some nice notes and hopefully improve your Madden 22 game or just in general, your Madden game. Um, these tournament games have a lot of high critical thinking in it and you know you could definitely carry this over into any madden um and just in general like you know a lot of situational moments in this game that i'll be talking about if you guys haven't already please leave a like and subscribe um we're doing pretty well on the youtube side of things i know i've been slowed down with the uploads but you know i'm gonna pick it right back up and you know at the end of this video i'll be going on for a lo uh, little moment talking about you know what to expect and just in general just make sure you guys stick to the end can you guys smash that like button? I'm trying to get 175 likes on this video. That'd be much appreciated, guys. So pretty much, you know, what we got on hand is, you know, the phase content. Um, if you guys can, comment phase pop down below. Try, definitely just trying to make this um, a dream come true with the phase opportunity. And then, you know, uh, content and streams for the rest of Madden 22. But uh, I'm not going to talk too much. I'm going to get in the gameplay in a second. Once more, hit that like button and subscribe and let me break down this hell game for you this by the way is for twenty five thousand dollars um you know first uh we are secured thirty thousand at the bare minimum for making madden bolt um you know if you had a first round buy fifty five thousand then it goes a hundred thousand hundred fifty thousand and two hundred fifty thousand um if you've been keeping up with comp madden you know what the final outcome is of everything and you know i'm definitely happy but you know if you haven't you know just stay tuned i'm gonna break down this game and then i'm gonna talk about what happened with the whole tournament afterwards but yeah man this is a rematch versus john beast i beat him last year we're gonna play again this year in the madden bowl biggest tournament of the year and you know at least i made this tournament man i hadn't made no tournaments all year uh my luck changed around 2022 definitely uh was off to a hot start and you know we got to keep it up for the rest of the year we got 11 more months to go and yeah i gotta get back on it see right here guys we are in the Bengals offense we're gonna be starting off with an inside zone and guys this game is gonna go by fast so if you need to rewind something go for it um right here third down and early and we mess up the timing on the wheel route i'm not gonna lie john beast completely bagged that um i think he did a show blitz adjustment which pretty much got his um you know corner to play more inside nonetheless i feel like patterson kind of ran it a little wrong and, you know, it just wasn't a good read, a terrible way to start off the game. But we could have got it back right there. And, I mean, at least he didn't catch it, right? That's right here. He has um, A wide open. The tight end was wide open. Thankfully for us, we got a nice shed right on time. And, you know, what could have been a crazy disaster early in the game um, kind of just got held, that, held to, like, you know, three points. So, you know, I'm not too mad about that. I'm actually kind of relieved that I held him to three points. You can't win the game with getting threes. You could definitely win the game with getting sevens. Um, one thing to look out for is I only have one timeout uh, remaining for the rest of this half. You know, first half timeouts aren't as important as second half timeouts. See right here, we're going to go up top to Jay Jettis, Jeff Justin Jefferson. Um, that's a nice play I've been running for a minute now. It's called cross screens. I have the bunch offset. If you, guys will, if you guys want a tip Tuesday on that or, you know, a video breakdown of that play, just let me know. That play is insane. Highly recommend you guys run that play if you haven't already been running it. Um, and, you know, 7-3, to three, just like that, man. 7-3. to three. We're going to have to play some decent defense on this drive, um, you know, to get back into the game. And, of course, right when I say that, I get hit with a broken play. Deion Sanders up the seam uh, up the sideline and i did that quite a bit man i was definitely kind of upset with the way i was um you know clicking r3 that was man-to-man -man coverage and i don't like why am i clicking r3 i don't know why you know i will say i already said this once i played nervous in this first half i mean i threw a pick on the third play of the game so um you know this that right there was just a crazy play i'm not gonna lie he was running back and forth in the pocket felt like i played pretty good defense and you know that was that was open I, i'll admit that was open but man i had a quarter there i thought i was gonna play good defense he got it on the run and accurate and end up being like a great throw because of that but you know i can't be too mad you know if i would have held him to three again oh me oh my that would have been a blessing but it's all good you know we're, we're cooking now we got seven points it's seven to ten we're definitely looking to score some points on this drive um honestly in my case i should probably score as fast as i can that right there was a run wasted play a run play um, I ran those type of plays because, you you know, 
usually dollar really isn't the best see right here that was that was terrible that was so terrible i thought it was more close to the out of bounds markery uh, mark than i was but that was really bad by me uh taking that hit stick um, but those inside zones you know those usually do well versus uh dollar and all that type of defenses but you know in this game john beast was shooting all my runs and you know i had kind of bad stick right there you know that was my best run play of the game so far and you know i just like to run the ball because it's a safe nice easy play to establish yourself you know keep your opponent on his heels see right here i have no timeouts man it's right here this could have been a huge play and we it just doesn't go our favor i want to say john beast either shaded down or shaded inside and i mean nonetheless it was great defense really great defense um but i felt like i played that sequence very very bad and this is where it could get really tough um right here you know mccaffrey for what like eight yards even though i play pretty good defense i just wasn't there this is where it's gonna get tough because i have no timeouts so you know i can't stop the clock whatsoever i can't stop the no huddle the quick hike see right here um this is a dot man uh this right here i was not prepared for he ran john ran raiders and right here we could have got a fumble it would have changed the whole outcome of the game it would have been extremely lucky but you know it is what it is we didn't we don't recover it john ran raiders and he ran it really really well anytime he was in bunch i felt like i was good and comfortable versus it but for the most part any other form i, I just really didn't know what was going on see right here we click r3 again and what am i doing yo second and 11 and we give up an easy touchdown i blitzed him right there just was not the call should have sent three should have sent two out of wide and honestly like I, I felt really good on defense like you know beginning of january you know mid-january see right here this is the biggest play of the game and we completely sell i have the running back open i have r1 open i don't know why i just didn't throw it on the run that's why we use gen 3 quarterbacks um you know gen 3 generic 3 releases uh, for that reason and that reason alone i don't know why i stopped on a dime and got that crazy wind up and it's just like oh man I, I i felt i felt like i was playing bad at first in the beginning and that play was definitely bad and detrimental but you know i don't know i don't know why i did that right here we get an on the run and accurate that was probably going to be a dot real talk but it was an on the run and accurate um right here i don't know why we just go underneath get like three yards if that even and right here we actually may have had this bomb but I, I just, I, I don't know what happened. I didn't throw. I pump faked it or something. And, you know, I'm just going to take it into half. So, like, oh, my God. Just the worst possible ending to a half. And, honestly, I could say it's because I had no timeout. So, like, in the future, I I, I completely choked this first half. Um, you know, I just played it so, so like, like a rookie, man. No timeouts. Um, you know, doing the dumb things. And, like, he's in the driver's seat. He's up 14 points and he has ball. And he's in Raiders, like which has so many easy runs, so many easy uh, audibles. And right here, you're going to see, uh, I play actually pretty good defense for the first two plays. I click on, try to take away that triangle read, which I actually am successful in. And right here, he just hits the post. Great read. Um, I didn't expect that post to be that good. Um, and that's just me not, you know, being used to playing tight uh, out of Raiders, you know. I was more ready for the bunch, the bunch tight end. But, you know, when he went into this tie, I really wasn't that comfortable. Right here, we actually played pretty good defense. We sent two. Our coverage was amazing. Phenomenal. And we end up getting a sack. Right here, the whole game could change. John Beast just throws a blind read. And, bro, there's just no way that gets over a user. That was a terrible user alongside me being a little slow um, and just not being in position. The next play, we run commit. He runs inside zone right out of run commit and scores a touchdown. So... Um, I 100% believe like, you know, this 31 to 10 is a 21 point lead. This is the biggest blowout in the Madden Bowl thus far, but the score does not indicate the game, man. It really doesn't. You know, I had a couple unfortunate plays on my behalf, you know, a couple were my fault and, you know, it just comes out in the fact that I haven't been able to get a stop thus far, but I felt like in the, you know, I really wasn't playing that bad. I definitely could have won this game. Um, a lot of people were telling me I should have stuck to Raiders rather than Bengals. I could agree with you on that. I definitely played way better and way safer in Raiders. Um, just a dumb mistake to switch in the biggest tournament. But I mean, all I got to say is it is what it is, you know, like it's not really like much you could do at this point. You can't really think, damn, I wish I did. would have done this, would have done that. You just got to live with it and move on. See right here, you know, we're trying to fight. I don't think anyone's ever come back from this scenario. I have R1 open right here just missed the read but um you know we're still gonna be able to score right here we call inside zone which that's what i was looking for with the inside zone it just wasn't there ever um right here we hit r1 great read 
and you know we're down by 13 you know if we get a stop you never know what could happen um i've i've kind of i've did some crazy comebacks before we stop it his run on the first play which is great and the next play he's gonna go up top with calvin johnson and that's pretty much gonna be the dagger and the cold-blooded killer john bees takes me out um and like like i felt like i don't know man wide was just kind of got a little nerfed with how good escape artist was people started to learn like how to play it rather than you know getting blitz they would just run past my contain and stuff like that so you know it is what it is like i said you know um unfortunately like i wish madden bull could have been a little sooner because people started learning how to play against the contains and the escape artists i played john beats a couple times and you know i played really good defense and then i don't know what happens um you know people start learning how to play against wide and start using escape he's gonna stun on us right there that was kind of insane i got like two back-to-back -back under and pressure and accurate but it's all good man um john b sisters to celebrate with this performance he had he played very very well um right here he's actually gonna go up top on me with double me and this is thankfully he didn't catch it this is our only good defensive play of the game real talk and you know it's just because he's up by a lot of points and he's just chucking yeah man he just started stunning on us he was playing great defense i should have used one post up one post up would have definitely counteracted the whole way he played because look at randy gregory he is going berserk um right here just broken play corner out dot and you know my stat line was really really bad right here randy gregory again causing havoc look at this dude randy gregory um right here we're gonna go up the seams undercut him user catch and you know if we could score before like the two minute warning you never know we could get some onside luck right here we have r1 open and like i don't know like i just threw too many picks i did too many dumb things on the offensive side of the ball right here great read to darren waller low ball and we didn't score before the two minute warning but we didn't score too much after that um right here we go for two to make it 11 point game which pretty much would be just a field goal and a uh, uh, two-point conversion. We don't get it, but, you know, it is what it is. Either way, we're going to have to get an onside kick here. Um, and I don't I don't know. I guess this was the right decision, onside kick. I just didn't know how to onside kick. Definitely in the future, you got to practice onside kicks, because, especially in this type of Madden where it's so easy to score and you need to get an onside kick. I maybe could have kicked it out of bounds or, excuse me, kicked it um, – deep and try to play defense but you know either way you know i don't know you're gonna have to get an onside kick somewhere in that sequence and i just thought to myself why not just get it now and see what happens and of course you know we didn't recover it um we're down by 16 points once more the score did not indicate what the game was he, he played phenomenal on both sides of the ball as he should have you know he didn't really play too much in bunch he was audibling around a lot. The tight is really what messed me up. He had like two big plays out of tight. One was a broken play, then one was just a simple streak. And then from there, you know, he had a uh, 10 points off defense, I want to say. See right here, we go to cross screens again, and we throw in another pick. Um, I want to say he had 10 points off defense. Yeah, one was a pick I threw in the first quarter. And then the other one was a fumble for six. And then, you know, I just couldn't stop the dude. I really couldn't stop the dude. I wasn't playing phenomenal on offense. 100% should have played with the Raiders playbook and audible the round. Used one post up to counteract that Randy Gregory up the middle. And, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, I'm ready. I'm motivated for next year. Madden 23 competitive scene. I know we got like five, six months until the season is officially done with. But, you know, I, I don't know. I got to find content for you guys. Uh, Weekend League and Mutt is kind of hard for me to stream right now. We got Mutt Head League playoffs Friday, which is tomorrow. I'm recording this on a Thursday. Uh, it might be today if you're watching this on Friday, if it drops on Friday. So stay tuned for that. Twitch.tv backslash Pav and Lacotte. Tune in. I will be rocking Raiders. Hopefully we could take home that 5K first place prize pool. We will be playing Civil Round 1. And then if I win that, I play Noah up next round two and if we were to win that we were going to be playing either fancy john beast or wesley either one of those three is an insane game i really want to play john beast though to try to get my get back and see what we could do with that but you know um 
we'll just see what happens tomorrow for uh, Mutthead Friday Night Football. Excuse me, Mutthead League playoffs. I got a couple Mutthead League games I could post. I know those started to bang off, but you know, we'll get to that when we get to that. So appreciate y'all rocking with me. Appreciate all y'all support. You know, tough, heartbreaking loss. Uh, you know, but I'm not too mad at it. I really grinded my ass off to get to that point after not having a successful year. I made a little bit of cash, which I'm super blessed and happy for. And now I have like the platform to stream to the end of the year um, and just get back on my grind. And that will be very rewarding. I still had to drop my 4.6 ebook. Be on the lookout for that. I've been really lazy and procrastinating on that. Forgive me guys, please. But you know how it is when you take a L, man. You kind of get in the down and the dumps. At least I always do. So, you know, stay on the tune for that ebook, stay on the tune for the streams. And yeah, man, let's make these last five, six months of Madden 22 very, very uh, grindful. I don't know if that's a word and very rewarding. Um, please leave a like and I'll catch you guys in the next video and be on the lookout for some tip Tuesdays as well. I got a lot of knowledge to share with y'all boys. Till next time, guys, enough talking. I'll catch you guys soon.